Hello all! We are going to try out the Turing test. You know, uh, the way I prefer, I love playing games, I love watching movies, All I, like, I don't watch uh, trailers if I can help it unless somebody, like, forces me to watch a trailer. I got so mad the other day because somebody made me watch the new, uh, the new Thor trailer. It looked awesome, but I'm like, you showed me all the good parts. You know, the movies, the, um, the comedies, I hate it. I hate it when you see it. This is why I stopped watching trailers, because you'd go, you'd see a trailer for a comedy, that thing looks hilarious. And you go to the theater, you watch the movie, and you're like, I saw all the funny parts in the God Blessed trailer. So, the way I prefer to play games, if something catches my eye, I like to play it. I don't, I don't like to look up any reviews. I, I don't like to do reviews, if I can help it. I like to try it myself, and make my own decisions. So, um, we're going to try... The Turing test. I think, if I remember correctly, when I first saw the game, God knows how long ago, it was a uh, puzzle type game. Maybe something like uh, a mix between Alien Isolation and The Witness, or like uh, that's the that's my best guess. That's my best guess. You know, you can't. Uh, I saw this. You know, I added it to my wish list a long time ago. It came through Humble Bundle, uh, the monthly Humble Bundle, which I highly recommend. They give some darn good, like, triple-A, you know, double-A games sometimes in that Humble Bundle, the monthly Humble Bundle. And um, thanks to Humble Bundle, I now have over 1,500 games in my Steam account. And uh, I will probably never play, you know, at least, you know, 50% of them, maybe, maybe 70%, but... But I got them all. I'm like the Pokemon master. Gotta catch them all. Got a, I got an addiction, man. That's me slapping my, that's me slapping my, my elbow thing. Inside of my elbow. Oh, there's a dot on my screen. Oh, please tell me that's okay. Morning, Eva. Your wake up has been sanctioned by the ISA. We lost contact with the ground crew 450 hours ago. We have tried to establish further communications, but we are not getting any responses. We need you to investigate. Okay, doesn't it make sense to do visual checks first? We have already looked at the data. The ISA has made the executive decision that you report to the surface post haste. You are our emergency response. What exactly is the emergency? The ground crew found an organism the ISA believed to be dangerous. We need to re-establish communication. Alright, let's see if there's a, uh... Subtitles. V-Sync. Titles. Enable. We're fired up now. Oh, I forgot to apply it. Dang it. go now I don't have to worry about trying to understand some of these crazy accents I ain't got no accent so we Yui cryogenic awakening on Christmas Eve Is that a guy yeah it's a guy all right so he's sleeping in there oh they all have their own Cryo chambers. That's kind of kind of weird. Like it's a waste of space. They're all sleeping. All right. So I just recently finished playing Alien Isolation. So I'm hoping it's, it's, it sounds happy. It sounds happy, so I'm not like worried about an alien popping out. Going, ah! or nothing like that. Happy music. Pick up your EMT. Where? Where is Tom? Where's Tom? I heard him. That would be the EMT. Let's look at around the room real quick. Oh, is that the EMT? Let's pick this up first. 
Ah. Ah. Okay. We are going to take a lander to Europa. Make your way to the docking station. Oh, the door opened up for me. The way is no longer shut. Speak, friend, and enter. Or something like that. Alright. So it wants me to do that, so let's see if there's anything else I can do before I do that. Oh, it wants me to do that. There's a run button. Current ship status is as following. Recommend addressing the power fluctuations before cryostasis. Mm, about the issue at cryostasis, just let Tom know if you guys need me. Hopefully there will be no need to wake me. I guess I'll hear from you as soon as I wake up, which may be a long time for you guys. Best of luck down there. Hopefully we don't need you, but we'll miss you in the land of the living. I'll make sure Tom checks right now. Okay, do we need to read all these? Initiating my cryostasis for a short while. I imagine a lot will change while I'm asleep. If everything goes well, I should be woken up next in 10 years. So to you all, I'd like to wish a good life. That's rather... Good life. Ugh. Can I throw it? Why would I want to look at it like this? Ah. Oh, it's going to be one of those games where i got to pick everything up and I can't do anything with it. One, two, no. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Did I sleep in this uniform? What's the ship's status? I have performed the necessary checks. The Europa lander is ready to launch. Switch the uh, keyboard and mouse. Can't play. There we go. Just a little bit. I hear noises. I'm not playing Alien Isolation. So I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Bay three. Bay three. Oh. That one. oh. What is that? I don't want to go to bay three. I want to go to bay one. Ah, I'm dying. No, I'm not. There's nothing. Tom Touch OS. OS. Tom Touch. That sounds. Hmm. What's the word I'm looking for? Ominous. Tom Touch. That's the new name of our band, Tom Touch. I haven't figured out what are the things I can investigate yet. Like, there's no indicator until you get right up on it. Retro? Go. Fido? Go. Guidance? Go. Control? Go. Telcom? Go. Then we are go for launch initiating. So where are we launching to? Engaging retrofire. I'm running the program 80 degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking procedure. 
trajectory looks good. 502 alarm. It looks like we're coming in too fast. What? We are slightly short of the landing site. We are going to have to burn late. Go. Full retrograde. Trajectory look good. Trajectory look good. Oh, never mind. I'm lying. You don't even know what you're landing on. You can't see down. So what happens when you don't let autopilot t do its job? They took a jam. Open the door. Humans trying to take all these machines' jobs. Welcome to your out in the cold. Jobless robot. That's another name for a van. That would be a good name for a van. Jobless robot. Alright, I'm assuming I gotta go in here. Oh, I can jump. I haven't tried jumping yet. I'm skipping, I'm skipping, I'm skipping. I'm happy. I'm happy, little girl. Roading. There's a damn tick in my recording software. I don't know how to get rid of it. If it annoys me as much as it, much as it does you, or the other way around, if it annoys you as much as it does me, talk to XSplit and say, fix this stuff. There's no need for this. It only comes on when I turn on XSplit. Other than that, it's a great program. Don't sue me. Please don't sue me. <laughs> there we go. Oh no, just pull out my gun all of a sudden. Why? There's no going back. Right, right trigger does this, right click. Left click does that. Same thing. Why do I got my gun out if it ain't working? Oh, getting scanned. Double scan, triple scan. Changed. What do you mean? The base was originally constructed as modules to withstand the seismic activity in and around Thera Macula. It appears the ground team have manipulated these modules. Look at that puzzle. I am the puzzle solver. I am the king of puzzle solving. Another triple scan. The base was built initially by machines. I served as the mind of these operations. I arrived first on Europa in 2240. It costs a lot to send humans into space with the necessary life support, especially such a vast distance from Earth. So, robotics built this place. Mmm. That's what that thing is for. It's a sucking gun. It's not a shooting gun, it's a sucker. I wonder why the ground team has changed these rooms. I have a hypothesis. These rooms are Turing tests. <laughs> Turing tests? Oh. Turing tests you probably want to are listen. tests designed to tell humans and machines apart. Typically, problems only solvable by a human. A combination of logical and lateral thinking. So, you can't complete these tests, Tom? No. That is why I am glad you are here to help. We need to work together. Let's see what it wants me to do. It wants me to suck things again. Oh, are these windows open? Yes, they are. Look at that. I'm such a fart smeller. I mean, smart feller. Boom, meow. Yeah. 
these puzzles are going to get way too hard for this homeschooled kid. What am I talking about? Homeschooled kids are smart. They really have completely repurposed these rooms. I am quite impressed. So, what were they used for before? Most of them were used for storage. But they have converted them beyond recognition. Perhaps they ran out of things to do out here. The devil makes work for idle hands. So, this guy Tom, this robot Tom, woke me up because... why? There's something... they found some biological something? We thought it would be better to not wake everybody up? Hmm. Okay, now both doors are closed. Let's try this. <laughs> no triple scan. Oh, there's the triple scan. I wonder if that's like how the game saves. <laughs> I got this game. I'm boom, drop the gun. Uh, do you know the ground team's location? The crew are deeper inside the base, it seems. <sighs> they must be trying to survive. Can you find their precise location? I'm afraid not. I am working to regain control. Though I once had complete control of this base, a lot has changed in the past 500 hours. So it'll suck it from that far. Why can't I suck it from this one? Is there a case over it, but not that one? It's gotta be it. It's gotta be it. Okay. There's a simple solution here. I'm all trying to impress you, and you guys instead of just enjoying the game. Let me just sit back and relax and listen to the smooth sounds. that noise oh all right so let's think about this I'm gonna as soon as I get it I'm gonna be like duh already getting stumped this early in the game so I can't suck it why would it let me pull it out now can't put it through the windows Jump on it? 
can't jump on it. <laughs> no, can't do that. What the heck? Is there something I'm missing? Oh, I can't even punch things! I can't punch them! They're anti robot abuse. I know this is not the answer, but... Alright. Can I pull that out? Do that. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously, that's all? Seriously? That's all it was. That's all it was. I knew I was going to feel stupid. But now I know how the game thinks. We've all learned something today. So if this base is managed by you, oh. why can't you find the crew? The base's communication array is malfunctioning. This guy sounds like Professor Snipe. What was his name? Perhaps we can't solve this yet. Rickman. Alan Rickman, that was his name. Professor Snipe. Snape. Snape. I said Snipe. Sorry I'm not as nerdy. Okay, so now there's new and interesting. Oh crap. Am I trapped in here now? Oh, all right. Let's see what this does. Ooh, hey, hey. Seems kind of a silly, a silly game. Now, I guess I gotta figure out how to pull one out. Oh, I can pull two. I can pull two. I can pull three, I guess. That's why there's those three. Yeah. All right. So then you gotta unlock this door, but there's no clues as to. So it doesn't matter where they are. Oh, let's try this. Hmm. I was gonna try to put three up there. See if that did it. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Hmm. Pull up me through. Got through. This doesn't add up. What does not add up? If there was an accident, 
Surely they'd come to find me, not try to lock me out. My instance is still resolving conflicts. I expect they have their reasons. My instance has just been updated. Uh, sorry? I right. have two instances of my mind, two separate versions. A slave mind running on the satellite, and a master running here on the surface. When the communication was cut between the surface base and the satellite, the two instances of my mind were separated. So, during all this time, all of my knowledge divided into two separate branches. Trippy, man. I continue to learn on the satellite and I continue to learn on the surface. I am trying to merge the knowledge to create a timeline of what's happened here. But there are incongruities between these memories. Conflicts. <laughs> I don't know if I want to play. I don't know if I want to play, Mummy. I do not want a boat like that, Daddy. Wish you're dead. Blowing through them now. This is the command center. You can check on the crew status from here. Touch here. Tell me where to touch. I will touch where I want. Papers! Look at these papers! Yay! Yay! Chris McLean. Hmm. I think he had a tough time telling his parents. What do you think? Crew quarters. Oh, damn! Look at her. <laughs> they just cut <laughs> this was a real picture that's a real picture that's a real that's a kind of a modified damn damn like they don't know how to like all the women are freaky and these guys look like gay cousins right like <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna use the same likeness 17 times but make this guy's eyes bigger Touch here. Touching. 
I'm touching. Oh, did it work? Okay. So obviously I gotta go down here. Touching there too. This ain't working. It's not working when you touch it. arrived. Ah. Uh. Tom, start recording. I am always recording, Daniel. The day is January the 6th. My watch says it's 2.30 on Earth. Here we are, members of the human race. 2.30 what? What time? I am Captain Daniel McLean. I'm joined here by the rest of my team. It is our intention to make this moon our home and investigate life on this planet. Man's curiosity and appetite for discovery will continue to change our world for the better. Inspiring. And might I add my congratulations to you all. Okay. Here it is. Beautiful, isn't it? What makes this one more remarkable than the other? The way it attaches itself to other organisms. Its behavior is very abnormal. It seems to form a symbiotic relationship with most life forms. How do you mean? Do you want me to dumb it down? I know what it means. <laughs> what does it do? It attaches itself to almost anything living, but it's not perfect. It's quite alien. We're trying to figure out what effect it has on my phone. What the heck? Where's my subtitles? Subtitles are enabled. Apparently they do not want us to know what they're saying. Mikhail, you seem distant. Do I? Yes. What's wrong? What's wrong, Mikhail? Mikhail, what's wrong? Are you listening, Mikhail? Are you able to hear? Hal 9000 much? I was talking to the ISA. They don't know what to do with this. The magnitude of the discovery. We should send samples back to Earth. I think we need to get this to a better lab. Me and Felix here are having trouble making enough clones. I'm gonna run out of the necessary resources to continue studying the organism 119. You're calling for a grounding of all your robot transports until they get your report. Seriously? Yeah. That's rather drastic. Okay, none of that made sense to me. Hope it did to you. Ooh, pretty colors. Very interesting. Oh, that's the Fortuna. Man, that's a horrible color scheme. Europa's drilling platform is the largest outside of Earth at 40 meters high. It is one of the tallest machines on any moon. The drill has bored to a depth of over 4 kilometers and recovered. Hundred or oh, one million kilograms of material from deep underneath the surface. This level of extraction is made possible by utilizing Ashiyama electric fusion reactor. This has been made possible by viewers like you.
Europa's base is built beneath Europa's surface, buried in Thera Macula's ice. Its modular nature allows it to be reconstructed according to the mission's needs at any time. Very cool. Whoa, there's no like warning <laughs> to switch to the next chapter. So uh, I'm going to pause it there. And uh, I think we're going to keep playing this game. It's kind of, it's got me intrigued, but it, I don't know if it's caught me yet. I don't know if it's caught me, but I'm, I'm intrigued. The graphics, it's very smooth gameplay. You know, it doesn't, uh, there's nothing about it that I'm like, oh man, this is, like, it's, uh, it's catching me. So we will pause it here and we will see you on the next one. At least I'm going to. Wait to see what happens after I look, because it might be a story part, and I don't want you to miss that. There might be a story. Shh. Story time. Story time. Oh my god, come on, story time! We are the modern age. We don't... We don't like waiting for things. Waited 14 seconds in checkout the other day. How dare she? Alright, that's it. Pausing it. See you on the next one. Give it a big thumbs up. Give it a like. Leave a comment, tell me how stupid I was for going around in circles in that last one, and we'll see you on the next one.